Hey, this is Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus, and I wanted to pop in and share a quick tool that you can use if there is no option to ungroup or release a compound path on a design. In this case, I'm working with a print and cut design, so I'm going to open this so I can show you what I mean. I'm going to open this file on here. So this is a print and cut file. It is all one um, object. It's actually two. So I have the graphic image part that's all one piece and then I have these cut lines that are all one piece. If I wanted to, I'm going to undo here, if I want to fit two to a page, it doesn't really fit well onto the print and cut page. I have a part up here in the crosshatched area, so I'd like to break this design apart to be able to move those pieces closer together. But if I click on this graphic part of it, I don't have the option to ungroup, and I also don't have the option to release compound path. It is a graphic image that's part of the design. So what I wanna do first is I want to right click on the, I wanna select the cut line, and I want to right click on it, make sure that you're on that cut line. It's, there we go right click and I want to choose ungroup there. So this is going to ungroup those cut lines, okay? So if I grab one of those, you're gonna see I can move those individually now, but my graphic is still one piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my knife tool. I'm gonna to uncheck this auto apply just because it gives me a little bit more freedom with my knife. It doesn't automatically cut things apart. I'm going to hold my shift key down and left click and then drag my knife to all the way across from where uh, you need to make sure that your knife is the entire length of your design. So if I come over here and what I mean by that is if I choose my select tool, you wanna make sure the knife extends past the selection box of your graphic or your design. If you only cut into it part way, it's going to cut kind of an outline into that. So what I need it to do is I need to cut it all the way completely through. So if I come back to my knife tool, oh, select. If I select that, it's going to bring up that knife option again, and I'm going to choose apply. And then if I selected this, it's going to show you that I have my pieces now. And then I'm going to right click and choose group. So I'm also going to do the same thing down here on the bottom. It's currently still together. If I click undo, I'm gonna grab that knife tool again, left click, hold my shift key down. Now, this one's a little bit close to that cup, so I can use my arrows and bump it down. My knife is not committed yet. So I can now click apply. And if I come over here to my select arrow, if I select it, you can see that my object is now separate. So I'm going to select that and choose group, right click and choose group and I'm gonna select the bottom, right click and choose group. And now I have a little bit more freedom to move my design around and fit two onto a page. And then I can select it once I have it and I can move, make a copy of it. Now, this is just one way to be able to work with a design that you might open and it doesn't have the option to ungroup it. I'm going to throw a link up in the description below. That is also another way it is called the crop um, and it's a way that I've used to get rid of white space around designs. Now I am going to show you really quickly if I come back over here to my page setup I've been working with the auto sheet feeder so I'm just going to set up my registration marks for that. If I come back over and open this design up I'm going to show you why I didn't use crop here. So this most of the time I would try the crop feature first which is what I did. I'm going to zoom in here on this design and I'm going, you're going to notice that there's kind of like a bleed. The designer created this design so that the cut line is inside of the actual graphic. So if I tried to use the crop feature, it's going to come and it's going to take that away. And that was not what I wanted. So if I undo and I zoom in a little bit more, you can see that this cut line in here is inside of that graphic, and that is what I wanted to keep. If I select this again and I choose crop, it crops that and takes that away. 
So it will work for some of your images, some of your stickers and your print and cut, but it doesn't always work for everything. So I wanted to show you that trick with the knife tool, and I hope it helps you in your silhouette projects. Have a great day. Thank you for joining me.